Hi, welcome back to Emmy Reacts, where I'm watching Game of Thrones for the first time. Today we are on Season 7, Episode 4, titled The Spoils of War. And last episode we saw some of those spoils of war starting to happen with Tyrion's plan for Daenerys not going, or like not off to a great start. And it seems that Cersei and Jaime are kind of one step ahead of them each time. It was Tyrion's plan to get to take over Casterly Rock. And when Grey Worm and the army people got there, they didn't really put up too much of a fight because they weren't there. They were attacking the Tyrells or the place like the Winter Garden. Is that what it was called? Either way, where Lady Elena was and she got poisoned and died, but not before getting a last word in to tell Jamie, and then to tell Cersei that she was the one who poisoned Joffrey, which was a baller way to go out. But I'm sad that she's dead. But at least Yara isn't dead like I thought she was last time. So that's good. But her crazy uncle Euron has her. So that's not good. So we need to get that taken care of. Theon got away though. And he's back with some of his, I think some of the other Iron Island people because he got away from Euron after he had attacked. Lots going on. They like I feel like made a lot of moves in the last few episodes already in the war between like Cersei and Daenerys and her people. It's not going great though for Daenerys and Tyrion and I want them to win. But I also want Jon to be believed by more people because he's been trying to tell people and tell Daenerys about the crazy white walkers that are coming for everyone. So it doesn't even matter who wins the throne if the the army of the dead are going to kill anyone, everyone anyway. So he's with Daenerys right now at Dragonstone trying to at least, well, he's trying to convince her that the, to, that the army of the dead is real and it should be something that they should be fighting together, but she does not believe him, which is fair, but unfortunate. Um, but he's allowing, or she's allowing him to mine the dragon glass, which is good. So they can make weapons and fight all of the white walkers that are coming. Because I know that there's going to be a big fight at some point. Hope maybe we'll have one of those fights this season. I like those big fights, even though they're scary and I hate them, but they're very entertaining. But it's good that, that John's getting all the dragon glass because that can help kill them. Yeah, Daenerys and Tyrion need to kind of rethink their strategy because, yeah, Cersei is kind of always one step ahead of them, which sucks because I hate Cersei and she's crazy. Bran met up with Sansa in Winterfell last time, which was great, but Bran is a bit of a weirdo now being the three-eyed raven. No, not weirdo. That's maybe that's not fair to say. He's just very like, I'm the raven now and I know everything and I have a per broader purpose, which is fair. And I want to know what that broader purpose is. I want to know more about what he's meant to do. So hopefully we get more of that story, maybe in this episode or just soon. I also want to see Arya meet up with them because she's been, she's making her way to Winterfell now that she knows that Jon's there, even though he's not technically there right now. But Sansa and Bran are, so we're gonna have like a middle mini Stark reunion maybe. That would be great. Baelish is also whispering things in Sansa's ear because she's kind of holding down the fort in Winterfell while Jon's gone um, with Daenerys. So Baelish is doing his Baelish things as usual. Sam is still at the Citadel learning to become a maester, but he cured Jorah of his grayscale last episode. So that's exciting. Jorah is going to go back and meet up with Daenerys. So maybe we'll see that reunion this time around. But either way, like I said, I feel like they're just kind of moving things along super quickly in this season, which makes sense since it's a shorter season than the other ones, I think. So lots of things are happening and I'm excited to see where it goes. So let's just dive into the episode. I forgot about that machine that... CRC was having her guy make to shoot the dragons and the skull too. They showed that in the flashback. So I hope that doesn't come into play ever because I don't want the dragons to be killed. But I mean, it is, I guess, smart of CRC to have a plan to try to kill them because they're such a advantage to Daenerys. If she can train them to do things without her though, if they're only able to be a weapon against her enemies if she's there with them, that's not a very great option because she's so valuable. She can't just always be with them in case something were to happen to her. So does Bran like remember all the visions that he sees after he sees them? And like, like so what will he do with all the knowledge and information? Is that like part of what he's still trying to learn and figure out? Like, does he know who the baby was in that flashback that we saw at the end of last season? Or is that still something he's piecing together too? I can't get over how many people there are in this world. Soldiers and all that. Oh, this is how Cersei was going to pay their debts, like she said. There is still the question of my prize. That's a lot of money I just gave you. So he was it's not it a castle. The more you own, the more it weighs you down. Oh, is that why you're so fucking glum, eh? All your new riches weighing you down. So they took all the money up there? The 
Not mine. I mean, I guess that's what happened when you to the take iron over bank. the place. The granaries are being emptied and loaded into wagons, my lord. Okay. So, Bron, will you accompany the Tallies and help them accelerate this process? I'm not much for shoveling wheat. No, but motivating reluctant farmers to hand Ugh. over the harvest. Another one of those situations where Jamie Hello. just, like, goes back to being Hello. someone I hate. And he does stuff like this. And it's always, Hello. like, the, the Circe stuff related to him that I don't like, which makes sense. It's like everything else outside of Circe with Jamie I like for him and I like about him. But then whenever Circe's involved, I don't like him. I must say, I don't think the Iron Bank has ever had a debt of this magnitude repaid in a single installment. But you appear to be redefined finding those terms entirely. It's very too kind, my take it with her. <laughs> Some at the Iron Bank will be disappointed. They've grown rather fond of your interest payments. Perhaps we could be of assistance in some Are they current venture. Back them now? I the only venture at this war? moment is re-establishing control over this continent and every person on it. I imagine it would require outside investment. It will indeed. That's what I'm, yeah. Rest assured, your grace. You can count on the Iron Bank support. So they're back in them. This is for you. Why? Whose knife is that? The last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat, but your mother fought him off. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that fight. The other dagger, the one that took her life. I would have stopped that dagger with my own heart if I could have. Yeah. Wait, who was trying to kill him in the first place? I wasn't there for her when she needed me most. Was it Lannister people? But I am here for her now to protect her children. Is that why Baelish is hanging around? Anything I can do for you, Brandon. Do you know who this belonged to? No. That very question was what started the War of the Five Kings. In a way, that dagger made oh. you what you are today. Whoever was trying to kill him? Forced from your home. I imagine you've seen things most men wouldn't believe. Yeah. He's seen everything. Literally. Make your way home again only to find such chaos in the world. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. Isn't that what he says? Isn't that what Baelish had to think? Because now Bran knows everything. What's that? Maester Welkin built it for me, so I can move around more easily. It's oh, a like a idea. wheelchair? That's good, finally. Something easier for him and her You're to leaving. help him. Oh, why? I don't want to leave you. When they come, I need to be with my family. That's fair. She's done a lot for him. You're safe. You don't need me anymore. She's done no, so I much don't. for him. He better reward her or, like, thank her. That's all you've got to say. Yeah. Thank you. Um. Thank you. A little, maybe a little bit more. For helping me. Oomph behind that. Thank you, sir. My brother died for you. Hodor and Summer died for you. Don't remind me. I almost died for you. I still kind of refuse Brian. to believe that Hodor is dead. I'm not really. Wow, he got so weird. Not anymore. I remember what it felt like to be Brandon stuck, but I remember so much else now. Wow. It's just like having all of that, like knowledge of everything has just made him i mean i get it but it's he's just it's so he odd died in that cave yeah yeah that's f a fair statement oh poor mira she deserves so much better for everything she went through and did i hope she gets the proper i don't know something weird so is he gonna grow a big white beard like the other three-eyed raven had is this aria did she make it can we have another nice reunion yay and this time no one be dead right before she gets there she's just walking up that's crazy where are you going in there home i live here fuck off i'm Arya stark this is my home yeah it is guys get out of here Arya stark's dead no she's not send for maester lewin or Sir oh Roger, she's tell you who I am. so There's behind no here Go ask Jon Snow then. He's my brother. He's a thousand miles away. Get Sansa! If Jon's gone, who's in charge of Winterfell? The Lady of Winterfell? Lady Stark? Which Lady Stark? You tell us. You're the one impersonating her sister. Woo! Tell Sansa her sister's home. Yes! Lady Sansa is too busy to waste a breath on you, just like Oh us. my god, are they actually trying the to turn time, her away? Fuck off. Oh! Yes! Oh my god, they're really. I'm getting into this castle one way or another. Yeah, she is. Oh my god, they're gonna if be in I'm not who I say I am, so much I won't last long. trouble. But if I am, and Sansa finds out, yeah. you turn me away. Yeah, you're gonna be in so much trouble. Ah! Oh, she must feel so good being home. I'm so happy for her. She has been through so much too. She has killed so many people in so many scary ways. It's kind of scary now that now that I think about it. Yay for Sansa and Arya to be reunited. Oh, is it gonna make me cry? Or is it gonna be? Yeah. Cause if you don't, come on. guys, I'm come on! Be right in the fucking face, as hard as I can. Arya, just get up and go find her. Yeah, you guys were taking too long. 
She was nothing. Some winter town girl. He comes in asking for Sir Roderick, Roderick yeah. and Mr. Lewin. Lewin, yeah. Don't, don't trouble yourself over it, my lady. We'll, we'll, we'll find her. You don't have to. I know where she is. Oh! Yeah, but is this going to make me cry? Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. I mean, they always had kind of a rough relationship, huh? Yeah. Okay. It's a few tears. You shouldn't have run from the guards. You need better guards. Yeah. Oh! Yay! I literally, I like can't see. It suits you, Lady Stark. Yeah. John left you in charge. How much they've grown. I hope he comes back soon. I remember how happy he was to see me when he sees you. His heart will probably stop. Yeah! I want him to come back and see her too. Oof. I don't know why that made me so teary. It doesn't look like I him. love family reunions. Should have been carved by someone who knew his face. Yeah. I really can't stop crying over this, my goodness. Oof. Yay! Reunions. They say you killed Joffrey. <laughs> Did you? Wish I had. Yeah. Me too. However long my list got, he was always first. Your list? A revenge list. I really can't stop kill. crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sansa thinks she's kidding. Yeah, I might not want to tell her the things that you've done there. How did you Arya. get back to Winterfell? It's a long story. I imagine yours is too. Yeah, they have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> Those guards are gonna Arya. feel so foolish when they see that it is actually Arya. Bran's home too. Yeah, but he's not Bran. Yeah, oh, that's good that she's kind of warned. Did you just hang out by his tree now? <gasps> Look at the siblings back together. You came home. He's so odd <laughs> with his ravenness. I thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Why would you go back there? Cersei's on her list of names. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he knows everything. Who else is on your list? Most of them are dead already. <laughs> yeah, she's killed some good enemies. Yeah, I tell her about that it was her who killed Walder Frey and all those people. Littlefinger gave it to me. Why would he give you a dagger? Because it was meant to kill me. A cutthroat, after your fall. Why would a cutthroat have a Valyrian steel dagger? Someone very wealthy wanted me to. So we don't know who that person was. He's a generous was. man. He wouldn't give you anything unless he thought he was getting something back. From the beginning? Yeah, that's true. It doesn't matter. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? I don't want it. Yeah, give it to Arya. She has some more killing to do. Sure, it's Valyrian steel. Oh, so Valyrian steel... wasted on a cripple. Yeah, they make it in da uh, dagger form, too, not just swords. Oh, you did it, Brienne. The girls are safe. Catelyn Stark would be proud. Yeah. You kept your vow. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah, you did a good job. Mm, Baelish slash Littlefinger. Guess I'm the only one who calls him Baelish anymore. There's still no word from the Unsullied. Soon. The ones who took over Casterly Rock. Oh, uh, she's so worried about Grey Worm. He better. Me too. What happened? <laughs> Many things. <laughs> Many things. Your Grace. Did he find it? The dragon glass. <laughs> I like the little, like, sisterhood there. This is pretty. I wanted you to see it before we start hacking it to bits. Is this, this one of the same caves that the smoke monster baby that Davos saw, the red woman, have? Is this where she had it? Woof! Ah, it's... Is that all dragon glass? All of that stuff in there? It's hard to see on... It looks probably just like a black screen, but... Well, this is it. All we'll ever need. There is something else I want to show you, your grace. What? Oh. Some ancient hieroglyphics of some something? The children of the forest made these. Mm. When? Does he know? A very long time ago. That's cool. They were right here. Maybe even before they were men. No. They were here together. The oh. children and the first men. Doing what? Fighting each other. Fighting the White Walkers that they created? They fought together against their common enemy. Yeah, it's the Night King! Despite their differences, despite their ah, suspicions. This is a good way to get her together on his side. We need to do the same if we're going to survive. So, like I've asked before, what has made because the enemy is real? The White Walkers not. It's always been real. Been an, as much of an issue for the last like thousands of years or whatever. Why is all, all of a sudden in the last however long of a show? Why why has it started being a problem? And you again? say you can't defeat them without my armies and my dragons. No, I don't think I can. I will fight for the North when he bend the knee. Oh. My people won't accept a southern ruler. They will if their king does. They chose you to lead them. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? 
They're already not liking some of the choices that he's making, like coming to see you, so. It's a tenuous relationship, him and the North right now, with the people of the North. What is it? Yeah, what? We took Costly Rock. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> Commit to the blockade of King's Landing. We have a plan. It's still the right plan. The right plan. Yeah. Your strategy has lost us Dawn, the Iron Islands, and the Reach. If I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies? Your family, you mean. Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. Ooh, she's starting to question him. I mean, it's kind of fair. It hasn't worked out well. It's more that, like, they're not underestimating... Mating. Underestimating. Enough with the clever plans. Tyrion. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. My enemies are in the Red Keep. Whoa! What do you think I should do? I would never presume I'm at war. To... I'm losing. opinion, yeah. <laughs> what do you think I should do? What does Davos think? I feel like Davos had, has good ideas. I never thought that dragons would exist again. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. But if you use them, to melt castles and burn cities. Yeah, you're no better than... You're not different. ...what came before you, yeah. You're just more of the same. It's good advice, but also... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Don't lunge. <laughs> Don't go where your enemy leads you. <laughs> Is she gonna be mad at Brienne for killing the Hound, even though the Hound's not Don't dead? Don't fight someone like her in the first place. It's been a while since I trained. I can go and find the Master of Arms to you, my lady. He didn't beat the Hound. Oh, she wants to train with with her knowing Good. yeah how good she is i want to train with you you swore to serve both my mother's daughters yeah didn't you oh is, that, is sansa gonna be like jealous all right it's pretty you good up, my lady it's too small i won't cut you don't worry <laughs> right, can you show off everything she's been learning while she's gone is this making sansa feel weird whoa why did she do that yeah. Oh no. She has a little sword. There's a dagger. Go for it, Brienne! <laughs> okay. Who taught you how to do that? No one. Nah. No one technically did. Why is Sansa like mad about that? Interesting. Interesting reactions all around. What do you think of her? I think she has a good heart. I've noticed you're staring at a good heart. There's no time for that. I saw the Night King Davos. I looked into his eyes. Oh, that'd be weird. She does have it. So Davos. John Snow. Um, King Snow. No, yes. that doesn't sound right. King John? <laughs> Forgive me, but may I ask a question? Your name is John Snow, but your father's name was Ned Stark. No, I'm a bastard. We don't have marriage in Narth, so the concept of a bastard doesn't exist. Hmm. That sounds yeah. liberating. Oh, the concept of a bastard is stupid in this world. And in general. How did a slave girl come to advise Daenerys Targaryen? She bought me from my master and set me free. Of course, you're serving her now, aren't you? But us on her own. I serve my yeah. queen because I want to serve my queen. On her own volition. All of us who came with her from Essos, we believe in her. She's not our queen because she's the daughter of some king we never knew. That's very true. She's the queen we chose. That's a good perspective. Would you forgive me if I switch sides? <laughs> I love Davos. He might be my favorite character of the show. Is that a Greyjoy ship? Uh oh. Oh, but wait, is it the good ones? Yeah, it's Theon. Okay. I was say, oh, he can tell them what happened to Yara that she's dead. I forget that she's not actually dead, and I just thought that for a second. Oh, they haven't seen each other in a, in a long time, have they? But okay, what's he gonna feel about him? He betrayed Rob. John. Oh, what a feeling's happening. Sansa, is she all right? <laughs> yeah. What you did for her. Oh, was he gonna thank him? Is the only reason oh. I'm not killing you. Yeah, that's fair. Oof. We thought you were dead. Your sister? She's not dead. Euron has her. Came to ask the Queen to help me get her back. Good, yeah. The Queen is gone. Where did she go? Where did she go? Did she go with um even though they told her not to? With the dragons? All the gold safely through the gates of King's Landing. Good. We need to get the last of these wagons over the Blackwater Rush before nightfall. Flogging stragglers has a marked effect on mobility. Let's give them fair warning. Folks. Yeah, I'll just start by that. Well at See, that's a good thing, Jamie. He goes back and forth so much. I hear you fought bravely at Highgard. Your first battle? All my life, we've been pledged to house Tyrell. Mm, so you felt I knew some of those men. Weird. I hunted with them. About it. They didn't deserve to die. But Lady Olenna chose to betray her queen and support the Targaryen girl. So here we are. What? Listen. Is it the Dothraki? Is that what she was doing? Out those wagons! Fall alive! Mm -hmm. 
sounds like Dothraki. Did she just want to do something? I get it. I mean, why give your opponent that much advanced warning that you're coming by shrieking about it? It's not a very subtle approach. I can't believe they got all of those horses and people on ships across to here. Oof! I'm not abandoning my army. You're the commander, not a damn infantry man. Oh, I'd be so scared. I'd be so scared too. But yeah, Jimmy. Can you? Oh, she's there with the dragons. Yeah, if she's there with the whole army, then she can be there with the dragons. Woof! Yes! Oh my god, how terrifying would it be to see a dragon coming at you? Yeah, you pissed her off. Light him up! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, all the people on fire. Oh. Okay, but as much as Jamie bugged me, I need him to get out of there. Jamie, get out of there! And Braun. And the dog. Rock here just. Yep, charge. Oh, that was a charred body! I'm worried for Jamie, even though he bugs me sometimes. Did they just attack the horses? Oh, I hate when that happens! I know that that's a thing of war, I get it, but I can still be mad about it. Oh, whoa! Oh. It's crazy because like the Dothraki people don't have like hardly like any armor or like protect things protecting them compared to all the Lannister people. Yeah, I get it, girl. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> she's burning all your stuff. <laughs> With all the food and stuff that they had just gotten. Yeah, you can't. Oh, but be careful because they have. Things that can kill dragons, do they have them with them? Or is that just in King's Landing with Cersei? Don't- no, oh, don't you dare hit this dragon! That dragon will light you up! Oh, be careful! Oh, it doesn't even go in them. Okay. It's like its own shield. So it's not even- she's not even necessarily trying to light up all of the people. She's just doing it to all of their, like, supplies and their food and stuff, and then getting anyone who's in the way. Covenant Scorpion is over there! Go get it, then. I can't shoot with one oh, it is, so they do have that thing that kills them. Oh no! I swear to God, if one of the if it hits the dragon, I mean it won't. And there's on it. He's not gonna be able to hit it. Hit the dragon. I'm just no. That's not what's gonna about to happen. So that's okay. That's good. Oh, I'm worried for Jamie though. Oh, oh, good job, buddy guy. Sam's brother. All right, that's Sam's brother. Bron, don't you dare hurt that dragon or get hurt yourself. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, don't hurt the horse. You might hurt the horse. Oh my god, you got the horse's leg off! Oh, the other guy did. I thought Braun did. Uh oh. Is he getting chased down by that guy? Oh, boy. Are we maybe seeing the end of Braun? Oh, god, he got his sword. This is a scary sight to be in. Wow. Can you imagine having a dragon flying overhead just shooting fire over everything? Dothraki you guys are really trying to get Bron. Surprise! Oh no! Oh, okay, well then at least he can't use it to get the dragon. Oh, never mind. Don't. Oh, there is another one. He, 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 he. Where are you? Be careful, Daenerys! Oh, he went with them? Oh, you're so close to your brother. Um. You miss it, Shafki. That's what I. <laughs> Be careful. There's a there's a bad weapon. Oh, those poor horses. I'm trying to run from the fire that's attached to them. Does he see his brother? Wow, the fire just adds a really big, terrible element to this, huh? Oh God, yeah. Was that was that Sam's dad? Don't go for Jamie. Don't go for Jamie. Don't go for Jamie. Thank he God. is misunderstood sometimes. I think he's a good guy overall. Oh no! Bron, don't do it! Oh good. Phew! Yeah, they have weapons to get at the dragons. Get out of there! You've done you've done enough. How many how many spears does he have in that thing? Uh-oh. Hit oh no. Come on, you fucker. Oh, is she gonna light him up first? I didn't want to believe that it actually hit it, so I was like, no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Where did it hit him? Oh, just in the arm. Cause I didn't even think it. I didn't think it hit him in the in the in where in the face. Which made him mad. Brawn, dum dum. Oh, but it hit him in the arm. That's mean. Yeah, he's pissed now. I don't. 
like her just being on the ground there. Oh, she's trying to pull it out. Oh, poor dragon! What are we looking at? Flee, you idiot. Yeah. Come on, boy. Flee, you idiot! Listen to your- What the fuck? Oh my god! This won't be the downfall of Jamie, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> oh god! That scared me! Was that Braun? Can he swim? Can he swim? Do not! Come on! Can he- What? 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 Ah! Wait, where's my mouse? Can he not swim? In- Raise yourself! I mean, I was mad that he was going after Daenerys, but I didn't want Jamie to die! Get up! Come on, Jamie! Oh, what an annoying place to end an episode! Because I don't- Time to watch one any another one today. <gasps> wow, what an interesting fight. Cause there's I I've I'm so conflicted about Jamie <laughs> and like the sides and like I want Daenerys to win and like I'm on her side about things mostly. Well like in general, because I don't want Cersei ever to win anything in life. But Jamie backs her and goes after things so I but and I like him and I want him to be okay. And yeah, same as Tyrion at the end of like just flee, you dumbass. So was that Bronn who pushed him in the end? But yeah, they went into the water and Jamie was just like flat, like f falling into the pits. Does he not, did he get hurt when he fell? Does he not know how to swim to the top? He's, like I said, I do a bad job of guesstimating when people are and are, are dead. Clearly with the whole Yara situation and the John situation. So I'm not going to guess anything except that he's going to get out of it somehow. But woof! Yikes. Daenerys can do a lot of damage with those dragons. And the poor dragon with the thing in his arm. Stupid brawn. But also, he was just doing what he had to do. I understand that in war, these things happen. I feel like some people think I don't understand that when I exclaim these things and get mad about, like, horses being hurt or, like, people dying. I understand that it happens. And why it happens is I just get, I'm, can still be upset about it sometimes, you know? Anyway... Um, wow. That was a, that was a eventful ending. Um, I'm glad that John found all that dragon glass and he can start making the weapons and kind of showed Daenerys that, you know, a little bit more about the history of the White Walkers and that, like, even b way back when the, you know, the two, two different sides had to come together to fight a common enemy of these White Walkers. But like I was kind of asking in the show, and I feel like I've asked this before, maybe it has been explained and I just, what caused this big ass army in the last like of in the timeline of this show currently to become such a huge problem if they've been around for centuries and you know or like thousands of years even like why all of a sudden now is it like such a big thing again you know that like the night king is back and all this stuff that's something that Bran's gonna tell us about maybe I'm so glad that Arya made it to Winterfell and is back with her family even if Bran is the weird three-eyed raven now and not really Bran anymore since he has all this other knowledge and wisdom in his head so yeah I loved that reunion I loved her and Brienne fighting and getting to show off her skills and all the stuff she's learned while she was gone so that was cool but yeah yikes very interested to see what happened there at the end with Jamie falling into the water or like sinking into the water like that and then just stopping or like and then where the rest of that fight goes but man good episode like i said i feel like all these episodes now in the season like really like move the story so far along and you know we're getting getting to a lot of the good stuff and i'm gonna be getting to some good good fights and good battles we're already, already getting a lot of good fights and battles so yeah good episode looking forward to the next and as always thanks for watching with me bye